Hey, I'm Ansley, and I'm in uh, Santa Ana del Rio, which is a very remote pueblo near Tlacolula in Oaxaca. And uh, how this Santa Ana del Rio Mezcal got to be in my glass, I'll give you a quick run through. This is, um, this is where they roast the agaves. The agaves have already been harvested and trimmed, and they bring them here, and this is a wood fire pit, and they've roasted to turn the uh, carbohydrates in the agave into sugar. And then after that's done, which takes about three days, they move it over to where they're going to mill it, and you can see that they've used a machete to cut it up into smaller pieces, which are easier to mill. And in about an hour and a half or two hours, they're gradually going to mill all the roasted agaves into um, pulp and juice. Now I'm standing down by the fermentation tanks. They hold about 1,200 liters. And they use wheelbarrows and five-gallon buckets to move the fibers and the liquid down. They put them in the fermentation tanks, and yeast take over and convert the sugars into alcohol. After fermentation is complete, they move about 250 liters at a time into this 250-liter copper pot still, which is wood-fired. And when they heat it, um, you know, alcohol is is purified and condensed and brought across here. This is a this is a water bath condensing tank, and the final product comes out here. When they do that twice, they have mezcal.